guys, what's going on? So I've been meaning to do this video for a little while. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm trying to get my videos better. So like, this is an intro of what I already did today. So it's kind of weird. I usually just do my videos in order, right? Play it as it goes. But I want to tell you a um, couple things. First, I want to do my one year review on this Challenger because I really haven't talked too much about the car itself. And um, the other thing is we're going to the uh, Cars and Coffee in Raleigh. So if you guys saw my live stream, you already saw that I was there. But anyway, I'm going to do the best I can with this. Be strong. Be strong. guys we are at another cars and coffee all right take one <laughs> and we all rode in here together so our rides are looking good i park like i'm drunk that way nobody parks next to me there's some lonely mopars over here I gotta go. I gotta talk to this guy in this car. Like, yes, yeah, yeah. I think this is my old Buick right here. I wasn't a GS though. by the VIN. No, I think this is my car. They change the seats now. No, maybe not. When I moved down here, I had a car just like this. It wasn't a GS though. I gotta get one of these Trans Am. I don't think it's a wide body. It's a sweet, but I like that one. I do like that Ventura. I've owned a lot of cars and I love the Trans Ams. Oh yeah. And the formulas. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I, we should have brought that book. So Seven I, liter. Like, huh? We should have brought that book. We'll put the book. Look at the 455 in here. So. It's in really nice shape. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the louvers on there. Yeah. Oh, he's got the snowflake rims too. Wow, even on the spare. You got the snowflakes and everything. Yeah, BF Goodrich, radial TAs. That's what I had on mine. I had an 80 formula. But it's 75 Firebird, 80 Formula, 87 IROC. Nice, nice. But but this the this style, the F body, was always my favorite. I don't know why. It just I felt and you'd have got no T tough, which is good. Yeah, this was a dad's car. Dad bought it new. Really? Yeah. Nice. So you got the 455 in it? No, we've got a Z06 LS7 Corvette engine in it. Okay, what did it come with? The 400? 400, 6.6. 6, 6, yeah. Yeah, because they definitely needed an upgrade on the engine. So, well, you know, it, it didn't take much. It doesn't take much to wake up the engine. Uh, oh, mine was the, such a dog. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, back back then they were they were so detuned. Yeah. That. Yeah. But it is just so much fun to ride. I mean, there's nothing. Oh yeah, it's. <laughs> yeah, good times. No, I'm not the original owner, but I've owned it since '91. Yeah. So this car is what I, 
Your car is, I moved down here and I drove, uh, it wasn't a GS, it was just a regular Skylark convertible. I sold it in 91. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but mine was pretty rusted out in the frame. This thing, this thing, uh, I, I found this thing in a little podunk town in Oklahoma oh, in really? 91. <laughs> it was still being driven as a daily driver. Nice. Wow. Uh, but the, mo the, it, the original motor was long gone. It had a late 70s Smogger 350 in it. Yeah. But, you know, the, it was a rust-free car. Wow. Um, but right. it, it, it had been used and abused. Yeah, but you still like got to rebuild. I had to replace this quarter panel because uh, I knew it had been hit. Yeah. But when I took the paint off, it's like, holy crap. <laughs> you know, it was just, it oh. was a side swipe down the entire side Oh, of the man. So I had to replace the door and the uh, quarter. But, uh... And then these I, them, I these managed them. to track down a. Can you get uh, the bumper over. Yeah. I, I managed to track down a uh, correct day code, 455 for. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So these are more the van than the Chevelles now. Uh, yeah, because they're a lot rarer. Yeah, exactly. A lot rarer. And you know, I don't know. I, I loved mine. I was putting the top down, and it was like that when I first moved down here. And then I realized it's just too hot to put the top down, but. Yeah, I, I, you know, during the summer, the top never goes down. Anymore. Oh, really? I don't, I don't put the top down until the fall. <laughs> I know, but it's fun you'll, to drive you'll around. Freaking, and... You'll freaking roast your ass off. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, Do you have the air conditioning? Yep. Yes. Um, but it it doesn't work. The uh, mm. When I bought the car, it worked. Okay. But uh, when I built the car, I was living in New York. Yeah. So, you know, this car was apart for five years while we redid everything. Right. And uh, when I put it back together, I said, you know, by then they were, they were, you know, changing it over to the different Freons and everything. I said, screw it. I don't need it. I mean, it's, this is a fair weather car. Uh -huh. Up, upstate New York, you don't need air conditioning. Yeah, you're going to need it here, bud. <laughs> yeah, so, I, so I, uh, I just, I kept it, but I didn't, didn't uh, yeah. restore it. But... Uh, uh, one of the reasons I love this car is uh, most convertibles look like crap with the top off. The, oh, this car looks, looks fine stun with the it top looks up. Yeah. With the top yeah, up. yeah. Top up, top down, don't matter. Yeah. Well, with the top up, it, it, you, you see that rear, that mm -hmm. big rear haunch. Yeah. Did you get that. the boot? Do you step uh, when yes, you put I the, have yeah. the boot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I bought mine for seven hundred bucks. That's, that's one of the things that I like about the boot on this. Like on a Chevelle, it's all snaps. Yeah. This is. Yeah, it's a clip. It's, it's, it's a so clip. So Slide under. Yeah, I like that. So much cleaner. It's faster too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I liked mine. It was good. Frostbite. Yeah, man. It's weird that they call it frostbite, but it's darker than the B5 blue. I love that color. Yeah. It's metal it's, meta it's metallic too, right? Yeah. Oh, it's only a 5.7. I thought it was a. Yeah. Too faster than that. What? You, no. no, was that you that. <laughs> what was that? And the fiber, car carbon fiber, man. What color are you going to snap the photo at? <laughs> it's rainbowing. So they're on the outside? Yeah. Oh, so you don't have to take them apart. You used to have to take them apart or no, something. Ah, yeah, uh, yeah. You probably do it yourself. Yeah, pulling this way. I saw the Mustangs doing this at the other car meet. I thought that was a great idea. What, in uh, Morrisville? Yeah. yeah. I like that stripe. Look at the halo is making the like, Yeah. Is this a red eye? That's normal, but it makes it look like it. Scorpion Zero, so that's a different tire altogether. 295, 295s? So not the... <laughs> that's how you know you got your exhaust right. <laughs> Challenger setting off the car alarms. Look at what he got under the hood here. This is the uh, it's an SRT 392. It looks 
so beautiful under the hood. And it lights up too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a little... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> the judge! <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, he's selling it, huh? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You owe me a buck. <laughs> really? There were two bucks? A dollar eighty-nine. Holy moly! Why okay. not? All right. Tell All me right. about it. All right. Thank you. you are oh, let me get another Mustang flipping over. happens to my car too. Yeah, the Mustangs sound good, but... I mean, I'm not a hater. I love my I know, but, but what we have to do. I like that green. That, that's not sublime. They got their own color. Oh, yeah. I just don't have a thing to get into. Get it to 10,000 RPM. Yeah, because they're about to open up and they about to... So, is this Mustang fast or does it just sound fast? Oh, it's fast. It's twin turbo, man. Oh, is that a twin? Yeah, they underneath. They underneath. The turbo's right there. Yeah, the turbo right here. Yeah, but where, where it's got to come into the intake. Mm. See, the, see that blanket on there? It's got the turbo blanket on there. So, so have you raced at a quarter mile at all? Uh -huh. You got a turbo in there? I got a twin turbo. Oh. Damn, did I got them underneath? I see no, that. I haven't, I haven't been to the track yet because I'm scared to throw the clutch out. I have to put the clutches. We're doing a, um, there's an open track night next Wednesday. It's in, uh, BFE. Where's Somewhere that? out what? Bumpa Kitchen School. Oh. <laughs> Is that the one uh, Piedmont Drag yeah, Race? Yeah, Piedmont, oh, Piedmont Dragway. Yeah, that's up in all. Um, yeah. They've been advertising yeah. it all over Facebook. It's uh, five dollars a car, but you get unlimited runs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been going to Piedmont. No, no. It's eighth mile, not quarter. Yeah. So you know that's good. You yeah, just practice was, your launches. Only quarter, um, only quarter mile track is, is Fayetteville and. Um, good twin turbo on it. Yeah, I like Rockingham. Yeah, Rockingham is a lot better. Have you been at the Galat at all? I don't like. It. No, you don't like it. Roxboro, I didn't like because Roxboro, Roxboro, uh, Roxboro's Benson is narrow. It's too narrow. Man. It is. And it scares the shit out of me. Uh, hundred some mile mile now, you can start to grill. Yeah. Why is Benson Benson quarter mile? No, they eight miles. Oh, no. <laughs> no burnouts. Nah, that was just the rings. Got weak, bad rings. <laughs> Yeah, if they keep doing that, they won't. Yeah. They're going to have a fit. They just do that. Oh, yeah. Oh. In the minute, they keep going through it. The boat, he's going to say, come and tell us we can't have it. That's why they got cops at cars. That was the popo. He he was chasing somebody. It was the cops that did that. Yeah. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> See, I am gullible. I won't believe that. <laughs> no, that's, what, that's the story we're going to say. Uh-huh. Yeah, I gotta say, when they say, you know, don't do burnouts, okay, people are doing burnouts, don't, uh, don't do burnouts because it, it just makes it so we can't come here anymore, you know what I mean? It's hard to find a spot, so when you get out, then do your burnout. Don't, don't do it right around everybody. I know it's fun to have an audience, but, but um, it's not so cool. That's what we were just talking about. No, we'll get we'll get kicked out if they do that. So. Don't, don't ruin your meetup place. Tried to 
race the Hellcat. He didn't want to have it. He said it beat me. I go, yeah, I know you beat me, but not off the line. Let's try it. You get somebody rolling over. I need another viral video. Look at the tires on that thing. Look at that thing, four wheels, real nice. Kind of biased to this one. Yeah. It's got it's got more horsepower. Yeah, that's the horsepower. And we got 2,020 <laughs> horsepower. <laughs> it's a gladiator. Both of these things got to be a lot of fun. The older ones, they were, you know, like the Renegades and stuff, they show a wheelbase, they, they were terrible on the highway. So I gotta admit, I didn't do a whole lot of filming here. It wasn't that big of a turnout, but um, it's kind of weird when you have a smaller turnout. There's more more conversations, uh, people talking about what they got in their car and stuff like that. Some of these cars, they look like you know just regular Mustangs or whatever. But this like one dude we were talking to, he's got twin turbos on it and some uh, pretty nice cars, you know, modified. Viper right there. Now that's uh, that's the second Viper that was that color. Um, so it's pretty neat, pretty good turnout, kind of fun. And you know, it's still early, right? So it's only like 10:30. So I still can do some chores around the house. So, so what's the deal? <laughs> it's pretty hot. It's pretty hot out here. We were both wearing black shirts. It's crazy. Vanessa's car looking good. Bounce on out of here. So listen, be sure to like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Put a comment in there. Let me know if you're in the Raleigh area. Join up on uh, Carolina Challenges if you got a challenger. And uh, if, you, if you are subscribed to me and you see my car, stop by, say hi. All right, later.